Do you want to become a doctor in Russia? If yes, I hope this video finds you wherever you are. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. In this video, I will bring you every detail and information you should know to immigrate to Russia as a doctor. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Do it right now so you can stay updated on our newest videos and get a free cheat sheet at the end of this one. We publish three new videos every week, so be sure to subscribe. Let's go. What is the procedure to follow? Step one, find a Russian university that offers a medical course to foreigners. There are a few ones to, that do it, but you should find out the one that is appropriate for your conditions and you can fulfill the requirements. Here is a list of the universities that offer a medical course. You also need to have your latest educational degree. I mean, for example, high school diploma, pass the entrance tests, Russian language proficiency, an application form, a copy of your passport, the copy of the invitation letter, sample of writing, statement of purpose or SOP, recommendations etc you need to check the requirements with the university they might ask for more documents also the university might require you to have an english language fluency certificate if the course is in english you will have to submit english language fluency certificates but most of the medical courses are in russian so russian is necessary you also need to find out how much it costs to study at that university and whether you can pay the tuition for it or not. Also, determine the cost of living in that Russian city where you want to live in. Find out if you can find a part-time job to pay a part of your expenses. Step two, apply for a Russian student visa. After you get your admission letter, you need to apply for a student visa to enter the country and begin your course. You might be exempt from a student visa. It is up to your nationality. If you need a visa, you have to apply the supporting documents. They include passport, admission letter, application form, a Russian travel invitation or visa, photo of yourself, um, you know, 3.5 by 4.5 centimeters, field and printed visa application form, a valid passport for the next six months after the expiry of the valid visa application that you want to request, clean record certificate, passport size photos attached to the printed form of the visa application, accommodation proof, medical insurance of at least 30,000 euros, proof that you are financially able to pay for your expenses, issued HIV or AIDS certificate in the last three months, and medical insurance documents. You have to submit further documents on your nationality and the Russian embassy's decision. After you are done gathering the requirements, you have to find the Russian embassy, consulate or visa center responsible for visa processing in your home country. It's your responsibility to find out who is in charge of visa processing. Schedule a meeting with this center and visit them in person. You have to submit all the documents to them and pay the fees for visa processing. The fee is up to your nationality, uh, the embassy services and the type of visa you apply for. Figure it out with the embassy. Russian officials will also ask you some questions about the purpose of your visit and your studies. You should give true and honest answers and prepare yourself for the interview. It is a critical part of your application, so be prepared. You need to wait for processing. It's about 10 days to th even three months. So you would you'd be, you'd better apply as early as possible. Yeah, let me say it that way. When the visa is ready, the embassy informs you to get the visa label on your passport. Now you can move to Russia. Step three, complete your education. Your medical course in Russia takes six years to complete. 
You should obey the national law, rules, and regulations in the meantime. Step 4. Go through residency or internship. After you finish your studies and pass the tests, you need to complete your residency, which is one to two years. The internship must be according to the field you want to work in. After passing the residency, you can apply for your license to the Ministry of Health. Visit their website to learn how you can apply for the license. But no, it's not that difficult. It's easy, yeah. The website is in Russian and it's not available in English. So <laughs> learn some Russian. Step five, pass the state exam and earning primary accreditation. After you complete your residency or internship, you need to pass the state exam to become a doctor in Russia. It also determines the type of license you have uh, as a doctor. The exam is called the GOZZ exam. It is made of three parts. Number one, test. It is a general test that evaluates your knowledge. Number two, practical test. You will examine a patient and he or she will tell you about the symptoms and medical conditions and you have to make the required plan of action. You must uh, diagnose and write a note of your findings and provide a treatment plan. Number three, oral exam. You will be asked some questions and you have to give tr uh, you know, correct and true answers and be accurate all the time. You will be asked about the diseases, symptoms, uh, treatment, uh, you know, radiological findings, etc. You also have to pass the accreditation exam, which is the licensing exam. If you pass the GOZZ exam, you can pass the exam as well. Step six, get a Russian work permit. After you finish your studies and get your license, you need to get a work permit to work in Russia. If your salary is higher than 167,000 Russian rubles per month, you are qualified for a highly skilled specialist visa. If you're already in Russia, you do not need a work visa. But if you leave Russia and want to enter again and your student visa validity is over, you need a work visa. How much does studying at a Russian university cost? Let's see. Your tuition is up to the Russian university you apply for and your specialty. But you can expect to pay about 200,000 to 600,000 Russian rubles per year. Also, you should do some research about the cost of living in Russia. You can expect to pay about 150 to 35,000 Russian rubles per month for your living expenses. Now, the salary. How much is the salary of a doctor in Russia. The average salary is about 244,000 Russian rubles per month. The lowest salary is about um, 89,500 Russian rubles, while the highest salary is about uh, 412,000. Well, there you go. Now you can start your application and immigrate to Russia as a doctor. I've put a cheat sheet about this video on our website. Go ahead and download it. Link is in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel if it helps YouTube's algorithm. You can also follow our social media accounts. Again, links in the description. And if there is a type of visa that you want to know about and you don't know how, just write the name in the comment section and we will make a video for it. Thank you all for watching.